recording has started. Here we go. Continue. Hey, we're back. And Cam, remember we are at the harbor for once. So uh who do you want to add to our team of the four guys that we could add? And to like raise friendship levels. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's go talk to Joseph. Where is Joseph? Oh, there this you go. This guy calls me a little bit, and, uh, but, oh, that's okay. Oh, gee. Yes, take a walk with Joseph. Now, where is it? They want the not share the audio. <laughs> what? It's I think it's like the ball is distorted as fuck. The audio is <laughs> Yeah. It's like uh yeah. Better that might be better. <laughs> It might be better for now. I think the call is still lagging, but I am. <laughs> at least it's not like static in my ears. Well, now we have Joseph with us and we can do whatever we want with him. Milk tea, no. Nope, that's way too expensive. Hey, do you want to go buy some spaghetti Nero here? Made with fresh squid ink is amazing, it's just 50G. Hmm, sounds like quite the deal. Yes. Spaghetti Nero, huh? That brings back memories. Make it two, please. And Joseph's friendship point has gone up by one. You don't remember? It. You don't remember that scene in part two? Oh yeah, that's right. It was like the weird thing, the weird dish that they were having. Yes. Trying to find Kakyoin. Where is Kakyoin? Oh well. Hey, Cam, I have yeah, to- Yeah, like, he, like, reacted like it was weird, but then, like, he tried it and he thought it was delicious. Yes, I have, uh, a walkthrough up. Do you want to raise Kakyoin or Joseph's friend point? Uh, let's say let's do Joseph, because Joseph's our bro. Okay. Um, I really don't like using Quicksilver. He has no SP. Scarlet Overdrive. So let's go get another one. Hey, whole horse. Oh my god, it's whole horse. It's an automatic stand. Yokiro Nima. Laser beam. Ripple hair attack. I how does Joseph do ripple hair attack? He's almost bald. Is he? I can't I guess it's been a while. Oh he's balding. I hate bombs. They suck in this game. If we had a better hermit attack, we would be able to do stuff. Yeah, the hermit purple is like way more useful in this game than it is in the, the show. <laughs> hey! Oh no, lost wallet! What do we do? We got it. So, uh, Cam, uh, there is a yeah? weird dude hiding behind this truck. Uh, what did we do with him? Did we kick his ass? Weird dude, huh? Yes. Damn it! Where the hell am I? I thought this was Stalingrad, and my walkie-talkie won't work either. What the fuck? Stroheim. Oh my god. Stroheim. Happy JP, you're picking a... Hey, Joseph Joestar! It's everyone's favorite Nazi! You know, if we didn't have Joseph on our team, we could fight Stroheim and kick his ass, but, uh... This changes the story, like, a lot. What the fuck? Oh, this is awesome! I am down with this. With Stroheim here? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
what cam i'm just i'm blown away by this scene that's playing out in front of me okay let's go wait so did did stroheim just say he wants to go back yeah and keep this guy into stalingrad yeah oh my come on God. Got going. let's go raise your friendship points i mean i guess it makes sense for him he's just like okay well i'm gonna go back try to kick some ass we're still worried How about the Japanese. How the fuck did he get sent into the future? That would be explained in part 6. Wait, does he actually get sent into the future? No. This is a story- okay. this is- This is a fan game, okay, so... Yeah, okay. I- I'm just saying. But, Cam, like, something in part 6 will make this entire thing make sense. I will say, though, that, like, that make- Hey, Cam. God, is that, uh... Cam, you wanna be the young lady? Hey there, stud. How about drink a little on me? I appreciate the offer, miss, but we're underage. Aw, oh, boo. Well, what about you? Wanna have some fun? Huh? Er, uh, I... Aw, oh, feeling shy. You're so cute. <laughs> it's hard. He seems a bit anxious, so we ought to be going. Oh, that's too bad. He's so cute to tease. Fuck. You're making me say this? Oh, mm, so <laughs> I... Now I know what is wrong. You have a... You have a bad nervousness rating. Uh, remember that personality quiz at the very beginning of the game? What? That personality quiz at the beginning of the game? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, you raised your nervousness level up too much, so we can't actually flirt with her. Interesting. I would like to mention that that is not a woman. Hmm. <laughs> there, I spoiled it. It's not a woman. <laughs> Which, uh, makes Kakyoin and the protagonist kind of, uh, very scared. Oh, we're almost dead, I... Um... Yeah, every time these Green Hornets show up, I just want to, like, fight them to Bumblebee to start playing. Well, don't worry, we're gonna get rid of them once we fight Strength. Like, we get rid of them for the entire game. Wait, the monkey is controlling the Bumblebees? No, there's another stand user on the ship. And we oh. get to kill her. I see. Yes, constricted. Hyperfent Green is more useful in this game too. <laughs> than it is in the actual anime. No, nope, that's fake medicine. Bad medicine, not good. No, it wasn't until I've actually watched the show that I've actually grown to appreciate just how much work has clearly been put into this. Don't forget like, that- like, the author was kind of drunk. Like, all like I know time. this is a fan game, but I feel like this is already bigger than anything a JoJo, like, officially licensed JoJo game could ever be. Oh, you mean like JoJo All-Star Battle? Yeah, or anything like that. I imagine this is already better than anything like that, that could ever be. Well, All-Star Battle is just a fighting thing, and then there is... Um... It's the... There's the RPG like, this and the actually... Super yeah, yeah, like, this actually gives you an adventure, which I think is, like, the core of, like, the, sh the show and the manga. I'm the... Tch, fuck. Also, thanks for not spoiling the fact that... Well, I, okay, I won't spoil it for the sake of anyone who might be watching this who hasn't Give seen the show yet. We've already spoiled... I've spoiled so much in the first episode, so speak. Oh, I was gonna say, like... Or hint Thanks at for it. not spoiling the thing about, you know, uh, whole horse shooting Abdul and then, you know, like, Abdul... Oh, but it does not spoil it at all. What? It doesn't spoil- this game doesn't spoil it at all. Oh, by the way- No, I mean the part where, like, they're on the island, you know, and, you know, and Ab Abdul... Oh, you just you finished know? that episode? Yeah, I- what? Well, I've watched up until- I've gotten to the point where they're in, uh, Egypt. 
and they have the dog. Oh, Iggy. Uh, yeah, I love Azalea. Iggy. What? I love Iggy Azalea. He has a good stand. Yeah. I am on fire. Iggy kind of reminds me, Iggy kind of, reminds me of a character from the show, uh, how, what was it called? Uh, Rockford Files. Reminds me of Angel from Rockford Files, in that he's very selfish. <laughs> and you can only <laughs> tame him quite... with coffee gum. Yeah, I can only tame him with coffee gum, but I like, like Angel from the Rockford Files, yeah, he has to be literally bribed in order to help you. <laughs> hey, I need food. All natural herbal tea? Nope. Going boiled. We have 3,000 gold. We could get a full heal. Hey, there's not pulling away. Seafood pizza, yes. Oh, we're de still dead. Uh... Ah, I remember. Cardiac massage. Don't ask him, that's also a JoJo reference. God, JoJo references are so much oh, deeper than I thought. Sorry. So let's go get Abdul's um, affection stuff up. Okay, sushi. Absolute. <laughs> okay, the translation's not perfect. Before you ask about. What I mean by that, read the first word. <laughs> Cam. Yeah? You see the typo? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I did skip over it with my eyes. Uh, oh, I finished dot .hack. Hey, let's talk to the bunny girl. Bunny girl is eyeballing I'm Abdul. Hmm? I'm sorry, miss. Do you need something? Want a damn... <laughs> yeah, let's bet money on it. So, Cam, heads or tails? Uh, well, it's a bunny, so obviously tails. We win. Nope, let's not. And Abdul now has plus two. Friendship. Now, what else? Uh, I'll need your taro. I love that I was right somehow. <laughs> what? I love it that I was right somehow. That it was tails. Okay, we need your taro at level ten. The dupe murder mystery. Utah. Oh, we never beat Utah, so it doesn't matter. Where's Joe Taro then? You might happen to know where Joe Taro is, would you? Also, we're being chased by Dio, the assassins. Oh, you're actually being chased? Yeah, they're all- they have auto-targets and auto-key, you know. Band attack. And we're on fire again. Like, why are we on fire? Why do we keep being hit on fire? We threw a Cam, remember we threw a lighter to kill that guy? Like Uh-huh. I'll take the Kongi, please. Does that mean we can't actually uh, use that lighter for the actual intended reason purpose that? That was to be the used? intended purpose. As a weapon. <laughs> where is Joe Tuttle? I don't remember where he is in in harbor. Wish there was a run button. Okay. Looking where he is. Eating at a restaurant. Nope. nope. All you guys can go fuck yourselves. 
There you are. Yes. Go on, Jotaro. Hey, Cam, you want to solve a murder mystery? I'm good at mysteries. Okay. What is black and white and hiding behind a pillar? Um, a suspicious man. I didn't want to answer that answer, but... We yeah. actually have to chase this guy down. And press the Z key to activate him. Oh no, Bernie guys! He's a stand user, by the way. So, uh... Garfinger! I like how he's not actually trying to kill us. Hey, nothing killed us. For once. Get back here! You know what gets annoying later? Here we go. What? That heat gets faster every time we find him. Hmm. Martial artist dead. Fucking martial artists. Actually, while we have Jotaro in our party, might as well give him the that boosters because it's actually a bit more beneficial to have him have it. I'll take some hot cola. Critical hit, 23 damage, and we're poisoned again. How much money do we have, Cam? I don't remember. Probably not enough to do what I think. I want to go buy a lot of GE coffee. Because we're going to need it. Cam, you notice I've been saving, like, after every battle? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this. It's fucking insane. <laughs> He's too goddamn fast. At least we're what putting him... Ass. Okay, we've got him in but We got him in very... There we go, got him. That's the glitch spot. You were the murderer, are you working for Dio? Emilio. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. He I'm has not chicken a good shack. Guy. I'm just the guy. He has the stand chicken shack. Which one should we attack? Emilio or Chicken Shack? We could kill either one and it kills him. But, uh, which one do you think is weaker? Um, I, fuck, uh, it's kind of tough. Imagine Emilio would be weak as shit. Stop like, his stand that. looks tough. Well, it's a giant chicken cam. Yeah, I know, but Chicken Shack looks fucking buff. Shasha! And Chicken yeah, Shack. No longer fight. We got a badge of honor. Now, Cam, badges of honor are very rare. If we use it, it will give us a random, mostly beneficial effect. But I recommend saving it until, like, uh, post-game, because doing so gives us access to New Game Plus and other shit. Interesting. Also, it allows us to upgrade one of the character's stands. Very nice. Wait, when you say upgrade, do you mean, like, an... Uh, I'm gonna sound so bad when I say this, but like an evolution? No, that's in part four. I'm kidding. No, it doesn't evolve. Dance don't <laughs> evolve, Cam. This is not. Fuck. About, I, I know, I know. I, I sound so terrible when, when I say that, but I was, just, I was curious. 
Yes, we're gonna do some stand evolution. Stand evolution. Mach Use the mega stone on the stand. <laughs> Come on, assassins. Where be assassins? We're gonna do the Alola dance, and they're gonna Alola evolve or whatever the fuck they do in Sun and Moon. <laughs> they don't. They don't mega evolve in Sun and Moon. Damn. That's right. They, well, actually, no. There are mega evolutions. Yes, but they don't just typically. That, yeah, you have to transfer uh, Pokemon X ones uh, yeah. with the item. Uh, in or order you to can have a mega get them from the tournaments. Yeah. The oh, finger. What was the thing that they do in Pokemon Sun and Moon? They like do the dance. They do Z it, moves. Like... That's right, Z moves. <laughs> I feel like Z moves are not as cool as the Mega Evolutions, in my opinion. They're not as good. They don't give you any good stats. They don't do. Ugh. I hate Z moves. I never used them. The only time I ever used them was on my starter, and that's because it was Decidueye, and I, and it kind of sucked, so. Yeah. So I actually was watching the first episode of this uh, that you released, and if I had to give, like, one criticism uh, to this series, I would say that, like, my mic is not good. <laughs> like, my audio is not that good. Let's be honest, it's Skype. What do you expect? Yeah, I agree. I think it's it's nothing to do with my computer. I think it's like how the audio is transferred through Skype. We should probably start using Discord more. Yeah, we would, but, but the problem. Don't worry, the game is supposed to be frozen. Like for instance, like your uh, your audio right now for me sounds like you're speaking through a donut box. Filled or unfilled? Filled. <laughs> I know it's a weird comparison, but it was like... Oh, well, Cam, I also have a secondary right question. Um, uh, am I talking yeah. through the side through the donut holes, or am I talking into the donut itself? You're talking... You're talking from inside the box. Like, your face is inside the box. So, I'm... And, and you have donuts... Hey, look at all... Look, you have, like, look at everything your... we got. We're now Mega Man. What? Thunder what? Beam. What? Why are we Mega Man? Well, look at look at our first weapon. Hack. I know it's Thunder Beam and Water Cutter, but Thunder Beam, dude. Unless it's lagging for me. What? Thunder Beam. This thing you get from I yeah. think a Wreck Man. Electric Man? Yes, Elect Man. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I mean, I got the reference. I was just saying, like... Dude, well, our gun uh, is elemental. Yeah, okay, We're freaking saying. Mega Man at this point. It's just a coincidence, I guess. But... Ah, Thunder Beam, I love you so much. Thunder Beam deals so much damage, and it's so good. I love Thunder Beam in this game. Oh, we're high. Hey, you think we're ready to take... Oh, wait, what level was Jotaro? Uh... We need to be above level 10. Yep. Let's just keep eating until we're strong. So, Cam. We need to be, like, level 11 for Jotaro. So that we could raise his friendship points. Yes, I'm actually caring about the friendship points part because it's. Well, I mean, I, I know it makes sense, you know. You gotta raise your friendship points so things get good. I, you know what's gonna freak me out? I bet. Like, okay, I'm actually wondering. Do we have to do anything during the? Uh, like, how does the? Uh, Death 13 thing play out in this. Exactly okay. like the anime. That's gonna be so weird. D so, like, do we actually remember stuff, or...? 
Eh, it depends. It depends. I'm just wondering how, like, the creator of this game displays it through this RPG setting. And... Water drop. I'm interested. Like, can you'll we, like, see, you'll see, Cam. You'll see like, and get your butt kicked. used to have on standout before it happens, so that way it... Like, when we enter the dream, we have it, and we remember, just like Kekuing. I'm not telling you. Dude, I'm fucking excited. Like, all, all the... All the little things that you could change in this is interesting me. Like, how we're wearing a Japanese, like... feudal Japan costume. Or, well, the fact that we exist. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's also kind of important. Hey, assassins. Hey look guys, it's our targets! By the way, <laughs> we fight these guys a lot. They're the worst assassins! What kind of assassin is just like walking around and is like, Hey look, it's the guy I gotta kill! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Thunderbeam! I love oh, Thunderbeam. Damn, they're already getting their asses whooped. I told you Thunderbeam is so good. And we got a handgun. Oh, dude, I love handgun. They can only fire five bullets each. It sounds fucking cool, though. Sand. Let's get some star sand. We're gonna need that later. God, it's been a while, I guess, since, like, I guess, like, since, like, part two that, like, one of these guys has just been, like, or at least I've seen in JoJo where one of the main characters just pulls out a fucking gun. <laughs> Joseph pulling it out and just shooting and vaporizing everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now... Moving this over so I can actually read the strategy. Let's depart now. He made sure no passengers. As soon as just, uh, you know, this is where we ask if his hand is, you know, backwards. Oh, I made a mistake earlier in the earlier series. What? I said that, or in the earlier episode, like the episode we recorded last time, uh, I said that Jonathan Joestar was my favorite character, but I meant Joseph. Yeah, I was wondering why you said Jonathan, and I'm like, Jonathan is... Jonathan. Yeah, like, Jonathan's cool, I like Jonathan, but he's kind of cool like Tarzan. I think my favorite Joestar is either Gio like Giorno, or Joseph, or Johnny. Joseph's my favorite. I'm sorry, not he's... Johnny, I meant this. I meant to say, um, what was his name? Uh, Jiro. I meant to say Jiro. I don't know a lot of them, but thus far, Joseph's my man. I, I'm not that big of a fan of Jotaro, but I think he's he's a he's a good character. <laughs> remember when I remember when I said that we got the pervy trait? What the fuck? But isn't she supposed to be like a little girl? No, this is the other person. We haven't left the harbor yet. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. These people, this was in the manga, not in your zombie anime. Okay. But these guys, these girls try to get Jotaro to take their picture and... You know, oh, I get. Oh yeah, the picture girls. I remember I that. I don't remember that wasn't if it was in the anime or not. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I remember that. I, mean, I, I love it that our character is getting along with Polinera because I know I would in real life. Polinareth. Polinareth. That's not how they pronounce it in the show, I'm sorry. I, I, that's why I keep getting it wrong. They're like, Polinareth! With thick Japanese accents, Cam. I don't see it spelled, I just see it. I just hear it. <laughs> anyway. Let's swim. Hey, Cam. What, can we swim? Do we not swim? Uh, we can't swim? I say... This is a tough choice, because I know what happens. Uh, wait, did the girl fall overboard or whatever? 
Not yet. Uh, why, I said don't swim right now. What a party pooper. Now here's the girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck, I feel bad. A little boy. It's a little boy, Cam. <laughs> the stowaway. Think about that. No. Good luck with that. Who cares? Hey, shark. I like how the shark just looks like it's nomming on her. And already. Yep, but Joseph, Jotaro goes in and is all like, oh, and then. I have a green. I love Hyrophant Green, it's so useless. It's like the one scene, time where like Hyrophant Green is actually a very useful thing. Is like, I guess it's, there's a couple times, like but here and the sun. Like, well, yeah, but like the time I think is the most useless is like the first episode it appears in when he fight when he's fighting uh, Jotaro. Like mm -hmm. you know. Hey Cam, yeah, just, I... quick question. What do you get when you have two Japanese students, a British? person, and an Egyptian leaving Japan to head to Egypt to kill a vampire. Uh, you get JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3. Bingo. Now what happens when you add random Japanese student? You get fan game? Yes. <laughs> And now he's now Tenoin. Tenoin. You, know, you know how you can tell the how I was able to tell that the captain was a stand user because of how fucking muscular he was. Or no, I thought it was because he was such a dick, and also because he has that you know uh, thing on his nose that happens when smoke. Cam, yeah. don't leave me hanging on that one. I'm so no, I got the reference, it's just that. <laughs> but blood vessels on their nose pop out. What blood vessels? And he like touches really? it and- oh, Looks like we have an idiot. It appears we have an idiot. It looks like we found an idiot. I didn't. I plan on pulling that trick on everyone in the crew eventually. I love Jotaro. His face looks so bad in this version. <laughs> the enemy stand grab the girl. Lies and deception. The dark blue moon. Oh, I've got a hostage. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, this is cool. that just happened. Hey, uh. Do we attack? Um... Well, the captain's attention is fixed on him. Do hey, wait, we're attacking. Yeah, I was gonna say do it anyway. By the way, we could beat him. Thunderbeam. Yeah, I say do it. Thunderbeam. Okay, we sequence broke, again. Yeah, I'm like, fuck yeah! You I was gonna prick. say, do it. I've still got my hostage to the ocean. <laughs> you attacked me before I could even land in the water. That's. <laughs> we have changed the course of Joe's jo history. <laughs> now we don't have to fight him with the 10 turn limit. <laughs> it was a letdown. Except for the fact that we do, Cam. What? Uh, oh yeah, that's right! This part! Fuck! The fucking barnacles! By the way, uh, uh, the barnacles are attached to us, too. Ugh! So, we're going in. I forgot about the goddamn barnacles! <laughs> they stuck to chat means. You know what the funny thing is? Our stand is a gun. 
Remember, it's oh. an arm cannon. So I don't know why we're being drowned too. So kind of you. Oh man, there's fish! There's also stands. Oh, hey, stands. Yeah, the stand fish is the rarest kind of fish. <laughs> I was just reacting to the, like, the, the scenery around us. I was like, oh, cool. It underwater. looks like it's from, like, uh, Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga. Um, what? <laughs> compared to the amazing animation... <laughs> I like how we're just gently floating down, and you're talking about the animation. Continue. Yeah, like, the amazing animation from, like, the show and everything of him, like, going through this amazing, like, whirlpool and everything, and he, it's just like, what, 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 what? <laughs> Also, look, look how the background is just water, like, um... It's the city! <laughs> Guys, we're in the city! Underwater city. By the way, Thunder Bay. We found Atlantis. We okay, found in the middle, Atlantis. So... You know, I feel like that I'm being stupid using electricity underwater, but, uh... We've discovered the lost city. Die already! Uh, we are dead. Oh. Oh, so is he, but... Okay. Glub, glub. Damn, Captain, he hit a bomb in the ship. And here is... The ring, the, the ghost ship. It's a tanker. By the way, don't forget we still have zero health. Yeah, it's really not good. Because if it gives us zero health once we start this, it will immediately game over. So, cross your fingers that we don't it heals us. Okay. Okay, no, no battles, no battles, no whammies. No, even if there aren't any battles, if we get control of us. We actually want a battle, because we'll have Jotaro on our team. And he'll at least be able to revive us. Yes, we have full health. Okay. That is good. Now let me skip ahead to the next walkthrough section because I don't remember any of that. Okay. Okay. There's nothing here that we need to do. So let's talk to Steel and figure out what the fuck I need to do because I wasn't paying attention. By the way, only two days have passed. Hmm. Hook M wants to fight. It was knocked out cold. Steel cold. <laughs> Wait, does this mean that we can just immediately attack Strength as soon as we discover him in his cage? No. <laughs> oh, item. No, he's still in the cage and we can't do anything. Aww. We actually have to do all the bullshit and stay away from that thing. Where's the key? Somewhere around here. Stupid we... fucking monkey. We have to go down to the basement and go get the key. An insect stand. Green hornet. Oh yeah, the fucking hornet man. Hornet woman, actually. Oh. It's a nurse. Yeah. A nurse? Yeah, overdrive, sunlight, yellow, overdrive. 
You know, it's kind of weird that it's a, uh, that it's a female because of, you know, how the monk view was, like, you know, obsessed with, like, you know, women and okay, stuff. Okay, and... but, yeah, Cam, but the thing is, this is a fan game. It doesn't matter. No, I'm just saying that the, uh, you would imagine the monkey would have done some bad shit to her or something, you know? It's another uh, stand user. I mean, Anne isn't a stand user, so kind of easy to beat up. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. You're right. <laughs> we got a hand grenade. We may be using that in the future. Great. Fucking back up. There are so many insects, I hate this place so bad. I'm glad that we kick her ass and get rid of all these insects for the rest of the game. But... So annoying. Now, where's the GE coffee? There we go. Yeah, now do you see why I bought so much GE coffee? Yeah, I completely understand now. It's very necessary. It's literally like the only healing item. Or poison. That's actually like affordable. Okay. I'd rather fight the hooks and hydrants than the bugs. <laughs> it's, it's funny that each uh, battle ends with to be continued. Yeah. Welcome to Jojo memes. <laughs> Actually, one of we walked like two steps. We have Pokemon RNG at this point. Now, what I was gonna say is there was a dude. There's a dude who does Fire Emblem stuff online, and he started making jokes about the VAs for some of the characters in Awakening because one of them is. Uh, one of them is Dio's voice actor, and the other one is, uh, Itama's voice actor, Intoki's, I mean. So he just had them doing bullshit. And then it ended with a 2B continued meme. Because shit posting. I don't remember which one we need to go down. Is it right or left? Uh, sorry about that, Pierce. I had to, I had to take care of something. It's okay. Uh, also, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll, def I'll, I'll be listening back on this later anyway, so... <laughs> I'm sorry if I, I was rude there, I just... Someone was knocking on my door! Sorry. Ugh! God! Mm. I was just talking about how Shadow of Chaos made a lot of memes about Jojo Bizarre Adventure to be continued. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of people did. It was, a, it was one of the popular memes of 2016. Hey, you know that 2016, dude, that came out like in 2012, for God's sake, man. Yeah, I know, but the, the meme of it was very, very overused in 2016. Trying to. F what else was there? No, it's not JoJo related. Damn it, I can't think. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Damn it. But hell, we're gonna hit like level 20 by the time we fight strength. Also, my middle finger is starting to get tired. Your, your middle finger? Yes. Middle finger. I, for RPG Maker games, you typically have your middle finger on Z, which is like the A button. And X, which is B, is your index finger. I see. Because sometimes a game will use shift like this. I see. Other times a game would have like the X button as, uh, well, well, C button for stuff. So you would use like your ring finger. Oh, by the way, strength is out. By the way, we get his porno mag. 
kind of covered with eight stuff, but, uh... Alright, time to go below deck and confront him. No, no, we're not gonna confront him. We're going down below deck to go kick some other ass. Oh yeah, we have to destroy the bees. Yes, I hate them. The bees. Hornets. Uh, it's close enough, they're bees. By the way, my bomb is getting tired too. Yeah. Because it's been raised. Help. Help me, Cam. Uh, be gone, uh, things. Close enough. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to help. Ha! Hose, you're no match for me. I'm gonna punch my screen <laughs> until I don't help out. <laughs> I'm gonna punch my screen. That'll surely help Pierce. He's there, dead. it's bro He's dead. It's a sailor. He's wearing the nurse's coat, but the nurse is gone. We have now activated the ability to go kick the nurse's butt. I don't think Markiplier would be happy, but uh, we're gonna find the nurse. Holy shit, I haven't. No one I've known, I've ever known, has referenced Markiplier. You're the first one. I I know that reference. I know it's. Where's the nurse? nurse! <laughs> Yeah. She's in one of these beds. I think it was... Were you about to reference Where's the Blacksmith? Yes. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> That's such an old reference! I love it though! <laughs> oh my god. I, I need to watch more Markiplier. I, I haven't seen a lot of his most recent stuff. I unsubscribe. The nurse attacked from under the covers. Wow. Uh... Hello, Kate. Too bad you're working for Dio. The user of the bug stand all hurt. Here's. Too bad, like, she really is cute for a JoJo character. Because there are, like, barely any good female JoJo characters, like, aligned good. I mean, I feel like in JoJo Part 2, the trainer chick was alright. I meant stand users. I mean, Lisa Lisa. Yeah, Lisa Lisa. I mean waifu level. People just yeah, want them we just want to get a scarf job from her, okay? And I guess uh well I mean I guess they never saw her face, but the chick who did the uh the uh what was it called? Fucking I'm I'm so proud of What? High Priestess? Yeah, High Priestess. Well, her face is seen in the fighting game, so you could always see it there. Wait, she's a character in the fighting game? Yeah, in the Super NES fighting game. That's weird. Yeah, and they had to give her an actual outfit so that she could be seen. Look at all the ointment for all those burns I left on her. Curse you, enemies of Dio. <laughs> Kate Honeybee. All the hornets disappear. I wish I could rest in a bed. Well, let's go kick Strength's butt. Yeah, I wouldn't want to rest in these beds, though, because... Uh, sorry. Just, you know, where they are. In fact, that's on Strength's boat. And we're essentially just sitting inside Strength. Yeah. It'll, it'll be like that. If you were to go inside a bed inside of strength, it would I imagine it would just be like a, that one paranormal activity where like that person gets trapped in the bed. By the way, uh, how far did you get into the Battle of Egypt? Uh, is that the part like uh, like uh, basically? Where you're at Egypt. All right. The uh, well, first of all, we have to. I'll talk about that after we do monkey. Instinctively slugged the orangutan as it was about to attack the girl. Forever. Oh yeah, forever, that's what his name was. Could he himself be the stand? No, maybe I'm already looking at it. 
strength, the eight Arcana Mataro. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, forever, you get to die. Thunderbeam. And Aura Aura Rush. You know what? We have a handgun. Here's the gun. <laughs> gonna cap the monkey! <laughs> yes, we're gonna cap the monkey. That's it, no, you gotta shot the monkey. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's in the wall, we can't do anything. Oh yeah, we have a wider back. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame we couldn't just fucking cap the monkey. We did we cap the monkey. Harambe his ass. We did cap him. Oh, oh we did. That. But he's stuck in the wall, so we can't do any damage. Yeah. It's a, it's a shame we can't, you know, Harambe this motherfucker. You know? He's Take... resting out of sight, that motherfucker. Okay, please stop regenerating. Dang it. Wanted to see if that would work. Oh, we went berserk. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, because in the show, doesn't he just insult him? Yes. By the way, mock aura. No. Starfinger. I'm sure it's harder to just cap the monkey, please. <laughs> Why are we trying to murder a monkey with a, a handgun? Because it's the best. It's the best way to shoot. You gotta shoot monkeys. <laughs> Laser beam. Okay. I'm gonna hate this guy so much. Yeah, I mean, you get for strength, it has to be a motherfucker, you know. Body magazine. <laughs> the porn. All hail the porn. It'd be great if that worked. If he it did. He is now captivated by the porn. Uh, I don't want to waste some like yellow overdrives. Okay, why didn't the hand grenade work? Why, why the fuck do we have some like yellow or, or, overdrive? We're Joe Tower, right? No, no, no. It's a item. Overdrive, sun white, yellow. Heals you for a lot of SP. We need a we need those. I don't want to waste it on a fight with freaking forever. You know, on second thought, maybe wasting it on a fight with forever would be a good idea. That's what to say. You didn't cap him again. <laughs> Of course I'm gonna cap him. We have a handgun, what are we gonna use it for? Oh my god, Jotaro's, uh... Jotaro's dead? This ugly AP's showing off! <laughs> Wounded your pride. Okay, we survived the battle. Wait, so you just did the smart thing and you win? Yeah. Unfortunately, the plan action wasn't here, so we couldn't do that quickly. I think it was just a time battle through it. So we'd kick his ass already. That was awesome. Yeah, it was just us waiting until he killed himself. Want some gum.
Oh yeah, I changed our, um, you know. Your what? Our catchphrase. Okay. What's our catchphrase now? Ari Ari Ari. <laughs> it's a JoJo reference. Okay, who should we go with to the... Whose room should we go to? Uh... Oh! Uh, this is the devil. So, I would say... Look, let's hang out with Paul and Eric. Let's try to gain some friendship oh, with Paul and Eric. Let's drop off our luggage. Anyway, we haven't met with him. <laughs> At least bring the luggage up first. Traveling manga artist. Automatic stand. Hello, Rohan Kishibe. Read it. Don't ask who Rohan is. I think he might be the person on the current episode I'm at. You can't. That's impossible. Rohan's not in part three. Oh, no, never mind. So I am currently on an episode that involves a certain manga person, but. Sure, I think we could go floor 12 and do what I think we could. Yep. Hey, I can't murder murder dolls. The murder dolls? Yeah, back under first area, these dicks. Oh, hey. Looking nice. Yeah, we're gonna take out their um, boss. Out of way, rapid thrust. Oh, but Pierce, they look so good. <laughs> Freaking pervert. Funny thing is, there are four perverts in this like game right now. You, me, the main character, and Polnareff. And we're all here. <laughs> yep. By the way, here he is, Joey. Welcome to my Wonder Festival. Domo arigato. Oh, time to kick his ass. Thumb laser. Rapid thrust. He's bleeding heavily. Yes, we're firing a freaking laser at him. Oh. Can't. And Joey is no longer there, so uh rapid fire thrust. I like how we're fighting nothing now. Uh... He's dead. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh yeah, we like... got a handgun. <laughs> yeah, awesome! We got another gun! But next time, I won't lose. And now he's dead, so... No more dolls. We'll go down to Pornarest floor and... Do the rest of the story mission. Assuming I can figure out which one is Corner Breaths. Not Pwn Refs, but uh, rations. And rations. Mmm, good. Delicious. Figured it out. So. All right, come on out. Hello, Devo. Why do you think you took everything out of the fridge and stacked it on the table? Yeah, that, I love that part. You know how much that would cost in like a normal hotel? It would cost like over a hundred bucks. I loved it that Paul and Arrow caught that in the show. Cam, what is wrong with your hearing? Huh? What is wrong with your hearing? Like, my, my hearing? Yes. Paul and Nerif. Like you're about to say, like, Polyp. Sorry. 
Look at his name, Cam. He's, he's pulling the rap. <laughs> I can't not say it. I'm used to saying it now. It feels, <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> also, can we can we just like since we're here, can we do what he couldn't do in the show and yes. just be like, "Hey, it's the doll." No, we can wait until the doll pops up, and then we shoot it in the face. There's the doll, and goodbye, bellhop. I'm gonna bite your nuts off. By the way, this is actually a challenging fight. Every time you deal damage to it, it gets stronger, so... I see. Do I have any mid-range attacks? Air bullet. That was enough. I imagine the original, like, manga version of this fight must have been awesome. Another doll stand. <laughs> Another, yeah, I think that was because we battled the other one. <laughs> it's funny. Yep, every hundred damage that we do to it, it increases its. Yeah, um, you can see the problem with plus twenty nine attack. Yeah, that's really deadly. All of a sudden. And... If we let this go on for much longer, we're fucked. Illusionary boy, please. Why? On the ref. Okay, never mind. Hey, we got a pudding surprise! That's something to ask you. I'm looking for a man with two right hands. What's wrong? I thought you were gonna bite my nuts off. Alright, you pathetic little bastard. I'll cut you everywhere but your nuts. I always thought that was one of the dumber, like, one-liners in the show so far. <laughs> oh, you should watch part four, then. Want me to quote that? That's a nice watch. Too bad you won't be able to see it after I break it. Your face, that is. Ah, that's bad! <laughs> oh, that was painful! <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, who can I- Oh, that- that had like- that had a reaction from like my gut. When you said that, <laughs> the last one, I was like, okay, the watch, like, that's not too terrible. That's like, your face, that is. Oh! God damn, it's so bad. Let's go pick up Jotaro and, you know, kick some ass. Or... So, are we now going to get arrested for murder? No. Like Paul and Arif did in the show. Paul no. Paul Nareff. Alright, now I'm getting it. Ponareff. Jean-Pierre Ponareff. We have Abdo in our party, so... Okay, we need to go to a dog. We're doing the friendship events, okay? Murder it all. What? A, a, a wife? An assassin? Also, what's with another murder doll? I thought we just got done with the murder Yeah, but he, it's an automatic stand. He can have him wherever he wants. But he's knocked the... Uh, I thought we knocked his cock out, you know? Wrong guy. That was Diva of a curse. Oh. We're talking about Joey. Joey just ran. He bolted. Oh, fucking Joey. Shouldn't have let him get away. By the way, I don't think this guy is an evil guy. He just looks exactly like Dio's assassins. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of assassins... Hey, it's them! It's our guy that we gotta kill! <laughs> oh, they threw a hand grenade. Oh, 
Oh my god, this chocolate is delicious. What kind of chocolate are you eating, mate? Hey, whole oh, horse. I'm looking at it. Oh, it's a, uh, it's lint, uh, ninety percent cocoa, supreme dark chocolate. I thought you were gonna say ninety percent coke, but uh. Yeah, let's go with the cocoa. Also, I think 90% cocoa may be the most dark chocolate I've, like, I've ever had. Like, you gotta, you gotta be, like, I have a high tolerance Fair for dark chocolate like I do. I think the problem with eating intense dark chocolate, uh, just a recommendation. Oh, wait, what? Huh? There's something in it on his mouth. Oh, you mean this muzzle? In Singapore, there's a lot of that aggressive dogs must wear them. Really? Uh, I, I feel bad for it. Haha, <laughs> you're quite sensitive, aren't you? But it might hurt itself for other dogs without it, so it's really the most effective way. I see. Actually, I know a dog that could use one of those. Nothing, just thinking aloud. <laughs> yeah, he's referring to Iggy. Now, and Puppet Master check, we can't do that. We have to do that one. We have to do that one. Can't do that. Oh, but what I was saying. So, like, when you eat intense dark chocolate, uh, it starts making it so that, like, dark chocolate that has a lower percent of cocoa starts tasting, like, not like dark chocolate. Like, your tongue just stops off to being able to differentiate it. Or so I've noticed with me. So now when I eat Hershey's dark chocolate, I can't tell that it's dark chocolate. Do we have any short weapons? You know what, screw it, we have a gun. Like, Hershey's dark chocolate barely tastes like dark chocolate to me. It just tastes like normal milk chocolate almost. Abdor's capping the enemy. Just like... It just, we're gonna fucking, uh, Abdul just decides to go all, uh, Indiana Jones on this guy's ass out of nowhere. By the way, that's a zombie. So, uh... A, a fucking zo a zombie? One of Dio's zombies? Yes. By the way, Sunbeam. Oh, we're fucked. Hey, we're fucked. What? A zombie killed us? Yes. One of the ma one of the enemies from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part One just killed us. And Part Two. Yeah. What do you expect? Is a zombie? But we have fucking stands. Yeah. That can destroy buildings. Doesn't help if we're. Wrecked by a zombie. So let's zombies go... don't have shit. They're just dead bodies. They're walking around. Yes, very strong dead bodies. Yeah, not strong enough to beat fucking Fire Eagle Man. Will I be eating shit to pepper crab? Now, Joseph's is. Ah, lost item. Okay, we're heading right back to where we were earlier, and more assassins. Hmm. Hey Matt, I, I mean, uh, sorry, not Matt, uh, Pierce. Yeah. What would you do if you were walking around in the street and you had to fight assassins like every day? I'd like, probably every day, cry. just like. No, but you were, like, really good at fighting. I'd cry because my life would suck at that point because there's too many bull- there's too much bullshit. No, dude, I would love that. If I, like, I don't know, maybe just because I'm the fighting type of guy, but- I would, Ow, I would Assassins, kind of why? It's like, you know, I'm- I'm at my college, I'm, like, walking across campus to get to, like, where I need to go, and I have to, like, fight like a dude in order to get there. I guess it, I, I guess I would be fine with it if I did 
if I didn't have to like deal with any bullshit afterwards, like getting in trouble or something. Oh, we don't want to be here. Is that a fight? No, it was a dojo, and we don't want to be there because it sucks, and we'd have to pay 300 G if we break the sandbag. <laughs> Ah, it's you. Have you seen my bag? Yep. Joseph's gonna help her. Hermit purple. Okay. Friendship points have gone up. Oh my god, no. We're not paying 300 to go back to the hotel. Or just walk. Walk and hopefully not get murdered. If this was real life, I bet you you would have paid the 300. Why would I? Because walking sucks in real life. Our way, we're dead again. Holy shit. This game's gotten a lot harder. Uh, we need to go talk to that person again. Holy shit. Welcome to bullshit. Holy shit! Yeah, this is where the game gets bullshit, okay? I'm suddenly like earlier I was I was talk thinking about like, oh man, this game's so fucking easy now, but then like This <laughs> This happened. Leveling you, up like, takes die. forever. Enemies deal shit to That zombie in that alley was bullshit, man. That was like uh that was like in South Park, the stick of truth, when you're on the spaceship and you can run into the, like, the Nazi zombie on board the spaceship and it's, like, ridiculously tough. He's not that hard, Cam. Yeah, it's not that hard. But... Also, I'm glad you know what- you caught on to what I was saying. Yeah, I know- I play the stick of truth, dude. I've also watched Ray play it, so... I'm actually glad that I actually was able to watch uh, my older bro beat that thing. Like, Stick on, of Truth's easy like, to I think beat. Is, well, well, not at the level that he was at. He was drastically underleveled for it. Hey, yo. He like, beat it on a second try. Sunbeam. And uh, Hermit Purple. Joseph. Uh, zoom punch? <laughs> God bless you. Okay, how this guy takes for Water Jet. Ripple Cutter. Please kill him. Sorry, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not feeling completely well. Yeah, I, I could tell. Why? I think I may have the... I think I may be coming down with that fucking flu. Thunder beam. Water cutter. What can I use? Ah, Scarlet Overdrive. Joseph, stop falling over, you old coot. I would like to mention that Joseph gets good at this in this game. He's not good right now. Yeah, he still got get good. Did, did we just walked one step. That's a safety save. The safety save has to be here. And Jotaro is in one of these rooms. Hey, Jotaro, we need your help. Dressed like that? Jeez. Stop insulting my fashion sense. I would like, what, the 80s? What do I need to do for Jotaro? Small time criminal. We need to go to 7-Eleven. 
Yes, Cam, we're going to 7-Eleven. You want anything there? Woo! Uh, I'll have the, uh, uh, like, one of those... What do they call them at 7-Eleven? We walk right out of the building and then get ambushed. It's like a... It's not like a slushy. It's a... What the fuck do they call them at 7-Eleven? I used to, I used to have it memorized because I used to get them a lot. It's like, they don't call them an icy at 7-Eleven, I don't know what they call them. Might be a slur. Another slur handgun. Why do we need another handgun? So we can keep capping monkeys. There's only one- there are no more monkeys left. <laughs> They're extinct. Yes! <laughs> Drive away. Huh? Gatara is starting to shoot people. <laughs> it's like we're playing, like, Saints Row the RPG. God, I miss Saints Row. Oh, a convenience store. I'm gonna pick up a couple things. Roger, I'll just wait here. I actually, like, wish that Saints Row would come out with another, like, good game. Hmm? Huh? I'm sorry, but I never did anything like that. You mean, like, Saints Row 1? Well, uh, I was gonna say, like, maybe, like, the third. You know? But... Yeah, Time basically. Start something. Yeah, Call that going I still easy. need to play Saints Row 4. Though. I don't recommend Saints Row 4. I mean, I've heard good things about it. But... We need Kakyoin mm -hmm. and Honorem. Get, get away from me! I'd rather deal with zombie. <laughs> ah. No. There's so much shit. Hey, cock you going? Overdrive, sun, white, yellow. I like how we're the strongest people in this party. I forgot to give Jotaro the... that boost. Oh well. How much money? We still have a shit ton of money. Kakyoin is not that. Where is Kakyoin? Okay, we need to go to the beach. And... Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, these assassins are starting to get pretty fucking annoying. They're throwing grenades now. God damn, it's like that one Flusher Studios Superman cartoon. They killed the Kakyoin. They just killed him? Yep. Like, dead? No, not dead, dead. You know what I mean. Sorry, when a character dies in JoJo, I get freaked out. Knock I'm out, dead. Go, go away. Get away from me. Hey, give me food, fatty. We need more of it. Bring on the food. Yes. Eat lots of food, Pierce. More food. Speaking of which, have, did you hear that Kratos got his computer fixed? Yes. So happy for him. I know he got it fixed because he was giving. Because he asked me how to download VC3. Hey there, what want that? some coffee? It's sweet or delicious. Hey, how do we take our coffee? Uh. 
well, a little bit of sweet. All right, we can have one copy and copy of Kosong. Going to copy. <coughs> this is way too sweet. You said you wanted sweetener. Copy Uh, let's just say that he just pranks you. Also, sand. Shocking blue. Whoa, holy fuck. That is terrifying. What, these? Yeah, everything that's on the screen right now. God, man, I'd, I'd be spooked playing this game at night, you know? And for you. That's gonna happen. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We may... Uh... God damn it! Die already! Uh, Cam, I would like to mention that this is 100% optional. Do you want to fight him? <laughs> gotta do it, Pierce. Gotta take him the fuck out. Okay, it's because he gives us something really good. Should we have Kakyoin in our party, though? Not that level. If he is at level 13, we're not beating him. I guarantee we're not gonna beat him at level 13. You recommend uh, having someone else in our party then? Probably. Maybe Polnareff. Yeah, Polnareff seems to be a pretty much of a bad. Where the hell right is Vince? Mm. Oh my god! Oh, this chocolate is so good. Damn. <sighs> Why? It's, it's just it's really good chocolate, man. Thunder Beam! You know when you get really good chocolate, and you just stick a big piece of it in your mouth I and found you just her. slosh it around? Hey, Cam. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vince, a traveling fortune teller. I have something very important to tell you. Don't worry, it isn't bad news. I just need you to quit this journey immediately, Koji Kabu. You don't belong in this world. You risk upsetting the balance of the universe this way. So, Cam, do we end our journey here or not? Fuck you! No! I see. Then I suppose it comes to this. I apologize, but I must kill you. Come on, Hanoi rocks. Bring it on! You're not supposed to be here. I must make things right. We're here to fuck with stuff. Hanoi rocks. Dang it, I missed. If we hit her with the sun laser, she would take a lot of damage. <laughs> We're out of... We can't do it anymore. You know what? Let's drink some tea. But Cam, yeah. you saw the damage, right? Yeah, I saw that. Fuck yeah. Take this bitch's ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting hyped. <laughs> You're quite strong. Hell Too strong. Yeah. The power of darkness is growing. At this rate, this story, no fate will go off course. People are happiest when they follow their destined path. Next time I meet, you meet, I will kill you, Koji Kabu. Oh. Nope, I don't recognize her. How did she know her name? Yeah, she is a this game only character. I like it. I was always gonna, I was always wondering like, uh, I was thinking about writing a book at some point in time where at the very end of the book I write, uh, I have like the main character have a fight with me. <laughs> 
I know it sounds really pretentious, but I was thinking it'd be funny. I mean, that's pretty much what the guy who wrote JoJo's Bizarre Adventure did for part four. <laughs> Don't ask. I'm excited. I I'm just, I'm into it. Damn it! Stop throwing hand grenades. I just love really like original stuff like that. Read like, part seven. Stuff part that just seven comes out of nowhere and it's just weird, and like it makes you think about like the placement of like heroes and everything. Let's get and... ref. <laughs> it's one thing I do admire about JoJo. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is that it really plays the hero, like the hero roles and like the villain roles extremely well and like gets everything right. Like every time, like even with Jonathan, Jonathan was not that like extremely developed of a guy, but I still fucking loved him and I was still rooting for him like crazy, you know? Because Dio is just a motherfucker. Like, he Your literally first kiss was stolen by me, Dio! Like, he just immediately shows up and kicks this man's dog. You know? Like, hey, that's like one of the. Damn, like, you don't know about uh, Danny's backstory, do you? The, the dog has a backstory? Yes, he didn't like. He didn't like Jonathan, but Jonathan started drowning. And then Danny rescued him. That's all of a backstory, but it is for Danny, and then he dies. God, that's fucking sad! Because fucking Dio locks him in the goddamn furnace thing? Yeah. Help, help. Dio's such a fucker, hey, man. Hey, damn, you saw that chef, right? Yeah? Yeah, that's Tonio, remember him earlier? In Japan? Oh, yeah. If we chef. could catch up to him, we could buy food from him, but I don't give a shit. Yeah, and I was just like, dude, <laughs> nice real estate. <laughs> you can make a great decision here. <laughs> because yeah, you literally have to go through a fucking maze to get to this <laughs> food place. Ah, yes, we got raw darts. Perfect. We could actually deal some range damage as Polnareff. I actually wonder if that would be a successful business model. Now I'm thinking about it. If someone like rented it out and it had like a a strip mall place and, and like they had a restaurant there, and one of the appealing things about the restaurant is that you gotta like go through a maze at the beginning to get to like the main restaurant and then it like opens up. Uh, I don't know. I think I think that'd be cool. Hey, we're finally doing some damage. Oh, mind some control. I imagine some people wouldn't like it because they think it's too confusing. Uh, Cam, that makes you bet we're going to die. It. You're mind controlling us, so we're going to die. Fuck. Assuming that we are unlucky, if we're lucky, we'll win. <laughs> Because Polnareff is doing very good. <laughs> Look, I'm just holding down the Z button right now. Shit. I, I may have hit auto battle, by the way. Not entirely sure, I may be an idiot and hit auto battle. I did hit auto battle, oops. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Damn it. Mind control again. Why did they get two turns? Because they're fast. Shouldn't Polnareff be faster? Yeah, Polnareff should be faster, but I imagine that these guys are like super fast or something. Come on, shocking blue. 
Oh, we are out. My god, fuck hell. Hornruff can't move and I'm confused. Oh, okay, uh. Freeze right. How much health does this fucker have? Uh, Shocking Blue has 800 health. Hey Cam, uh, hope you're ready to see the game over screen again. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Self, let's bring Jotaro. I yeah, want dude. to kill it. Yeah, it's not gonna be fun to go through these streets again, especially with all these goddamn assassins. Freeze right. <laughs> what assassins? So these assassins are attacking us at like every single turn. I mean, we could avoid the normal encounters, and then we have assassins. By the way, we need to go to 7-Eleven. Hey, Stroheim! Oh, hey, Stroheim. <laughs> to think that you could find such an abundance of food supplies in so many places. The organization called 7-Eleven. They've gone above and beyond, even for this time period. It's a shame they're not putting it to military use. But Stroheim, there's no world war right going on right now. We don't need to put it to me. Hey, uh, Cam, we need to buy a couple of lighters. Got Not a hair gel. You... <laughs> I don't know if it exists at this point, but God, can you imagine Stroheim walking into a fucking Walmart? <laughs> Holy hell. Ah, fuck it. Get back here. You want to fight the zombie, but the zombie... Oh. Done laser. Oh yeah, that's right, because of the sun. If we could hit it... Right. There her. Jesus. Woo! That was not worth it. We get more experience points from the assassins. <laughs> Those horse like the fourth room in, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now. So, Cam, do you remember what the Bizarre Memo did? Yeah, do remember? You don't remember? In the Bizarre Memo. Yes. Uh... Jog my memory. You write a name in it. I don't remember. There's a picture of a high-strung looking man in a suit. You don't remember writing this. Hit oh, queen. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the person from uh, part four. Who told you that? You did. I hate me. By the way, we're so fucked. <laughs> If we actually beat him, I'll be seriously lucky, but we can't beat him. Because we immediately die. The coach Hiro Mira.
<laughs> Kaboom, motherfucker. So, we're gonna use Jotaro to go kill that uh, weird blue monster. Woo! Get away from me, stand user. I don't know why you want to kill it so bad. Yeah, because it's a fucking thing, man. We gotta take it out. It's we didn't take out Utah because I'm an idiot. We fucked this up three times and we gotta take it out. Star Breaker. Freeze Ray. I just realized there's something terrible about this guy. What? He's got a fucking papyrus head. Freeze Ray! It's true, though. <laughs> We're out of freeze rays, by the way. Yeah, at least we got the damage in. Now we get to poke it to death. Come on, die. I feel like we should use something. No, why should we? Oh. Or that. Was Holy that a sin? Just now it just dissolved away like liquid. And these assholes. By the way, was that a reference? No, it wasn't. Did, did we get something out of that, aside from leveling up? Nope. It was supposed to drop something, I think. What was it? Supposed to drop a sunlight remedy. It didn't. Weird. If we went back there, would we get it? No. It's random if it drops it, and we weren't lucky. Oh, okay. Also freeze, right? We missed. Okay, fucking cap him. Or lighter. Why do we have trouble with the assassin? I have trouble with the assassins. Stop using the royal Wii, idiot. You know, it's funny. I think that Ross once complained that Danny used to do that on Steam Train. What? Wii? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a famous. I think it's one of my the more memorable quotes from Ross that I remember is where Ross was complaining that whenever. Uh, him and Danny, like, whenever he would do something good in the episode of, like, Steam Train, it was like, we did it! But then whenever he would do something bad, it was like, you fucked up, you know? <laughs> yes. Let me get some water first right now. You think we're ready to take on Yellow Temperance? I don't think we are. What? Are we ready to take on Yellow Temperance? Uh, I imagine so. Also, apparently my internet's having some issues. Uh. But, yeah, I think I'm ready. I think it'll work. I wanna level up. Here. Let's go with Jotaro level up one more time, then. Alright. Welcome. Uh, holy heck, you want- Actually, do you want to save up to buy a Rolex wristwatch? <laughs> no! Don't you know something about Rolexes, Pierce? Yeah. They're really yeah, expensive. And, and, yeah, and also people know that assholes wear Rolexes. Your point? You know? It's like, 
that's the problem with Rolexes is that they now have this reputation where people are like, no, only dicks wear Rolexes. Jotaro, level 17. We're not even at the good grinding spot yet. Star no, not Starbreaker. Ah, oh, fucking War or Rush. Yo, it's a uh, Cam. Quick question: Do you, we want to fight Yellow Temperance with Jotaro, or let Jotaro handle it himself? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't quite know. Uh, I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't be bad for us to back up Jotaro. He's not like um, uh, Abdul, who likes to handle things himself. You know. Fight so together. I was, we should, I'd say it'd be fun to stick with Jotaro. You know, give him some backup, you know? Yes, I know it's frozen, everyone. Because I'm going to the next page of the walkthrough. So yeah, i say give, uh, give him some backup, you know? We don't need to use a camera to use my spirit photography. I'm at the purple! I like Dora Cat. There's a crater in your mitts. He where ka kyo in is working for Dio. Ka kyo in? Did he just say ka kyo? Yeah, we know. Oh yep. my. Head. And then Dio shows up, yep. Yep. Remember when we killed George Greyfly George. when we weren't supposed to? What? We killed Greyfly when we weren't supposed to. <laughs> we are supposed to have caught I feel like that we were able to just, you know, kill him. <laughs> okay, what kind of food should we buy? Um... Mimosas. Uh, shit. And we're now broke. Uh, Diamond C, please. Okay, we're done. Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream! Juicy ice cold coconut. Four bucks, what a ripoff. I'll give you two. Pretty stingy for a kid. Kakyoin's wallet was stolen. Okay, that, this is what doesn't make any sense to me. Like, is it Yellow Temperance disguised as Hyperfent Green, or is it actually Hyperfent Green? Oh, that's right! You work right. with a piece of crap. Because if it's how I didn't think about that. If it's yellow temperance, then I never it thought should be about eating that. the guy, right? Yeah. And it's weird that he used green Harrowfin to trip him. Jotaro. We're just gonna kill, I'll be dead now. Come on, light it up! And Wes, don't tell me, are you gonna kick me out of your group just because I put a at feet? I thought we were friends, Jotaro. Have you seen the dub for Stardust Crusaders? Nope. It is strange. Yeah, It I, really I, 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 unnerves me that Kakyoin's voiced by the same dude who voiced Kamina from Gurren Lagann. I'm yeah, like, you are going to die. Yeah, I'm not really exactly sure how much I would like this show dubbed because I just feel like it's so iconic, you know? Just crunch, crunch, drool, slurp. 
Give me a second. Oh yeah, that's right. So he he eats the fucking bugs because he's the acid guy. Yeah, yeah and it increases his size. Yeah, I got it. What's wrong? What, what is that? You know, it can't be. I must be seeing things. Just the coconut shell. I love it. Coconuts, that is. <laughs> it's nothing. Save game. Ride the cable car. Quickest to station. Pretty high up. Uh. Oops. Uh, Kim? Yeah? I accidentally answered earlier. My yeah, you said I love the view. Oh, I answered? Okay, never mind. I asked, I was mashing X. Like Z, so who cares? Fuck it. At this point. It was a Jodon. It was a Michael Jodon. <laughs> Uh, uh. Is that Kakyoin? He doesn't seem like the same person. Come on, Jotaro, it's just a harmless prank. Let's hold up. Get on, Kakyoin. Get on the cable car. You can use my ticket. His jaw fell off. Oh, Spider's a guy. I'm not possessed at all. That's not cockyoing. Haven't you been paying attention? Look how much taller I've gotten. I can't believe you never noticed. You're six four, but I'm even taller. I can't really tell with the way this looks. <laughs> what? This is one of those things where, like, the visual, like, what we're seeing visually, does not quite <laughs> help. Yeah. Don't touch it, it'll stick to your upper finger. The same one you used to pick your nose, it'll eat away at your flesh. And then you'll be assimilated into me and I'll get even bigger. Or of this, you like to... Yeah, jump on the gondola. Now, yeah, we can't. gotta help out Joe. Yeah, we jumped on the... we're helping him. Damn it, Devil Man, I don't remember asking you to follow me here. I changed our nickname to Devil Man, by the way. <laughs> Fucking why? Because I'm a fan of Devil Man. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was talking about someone else. I thought it was a weird coincidence. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you should watch Devil Man one day. Don't be stupid. <sighs> <laughs> Once again, I should probably finish JoJo first. Yes, and then go on to watch a dude who it was allowed us to have boobs on TV. <sighs> yes, Go Nagai gave us boobs for TV. By the way, uh, do you want to do this legitimately, or do you want to just cheese it like the manga? Because um, this is actually a do very whatever, hard battle. Do whatever you want. You're, just a, you're Mr. Battle Man. I just like enjoying watching you fuck shit up, you know? Cam, I'm gonna say this. We're too weak to beat him. I was level 50, and it, I barely beat him. On my actual All right, then, then I say, uh... So, uh... Shit, uh... Escape! Yeah. That's all... That is literally all we have, can do. For this, because we're too weak. Run away. The Joestar family secret. Wonder what would happen if we were one more tile up. Yeah. Do you understand? Damn, we need to play the JoJo fighting game against each other one of these days. Uh, I guess we'd have to em emulate it. Of course, or we could just both buy it on Xbox. I don't, uh, I don't, I wouldn't want to pay for Xbox online. Oh, we could both pay for it on PS3. I don't have PS3. You could go buy a PS3. <laughs> I think we should just emulate it at that point. <laughs> I think it would actually take us less time and less trouble. 
to fucking find out how to emulate that game than it would be for me to purchase a PS3 and purchase it. Well, the problem is, how are we gonna set the server and connection? I don't remember how to do that shit. Uh, I think there's... Isn't there something like Netplay or something? Yeah, sort? I'll ask Garcon for it, but... Yeah, but Rubber Soul gets his ass kicked now. If, if we beat him, all we would get would think is a Medal of Honor and uh, a Medal of Honor and a stat upgrade. Not that good, though. We could get a lot more Medal of Honors just by going through here. Also, we do get to skip this cutscene if we were to beat him, but the battle between him would take forever, so it's not worth it. Yeah. Also, uh, where the fuck are we? Oh, we're still in the cable car. I thought we tried to... Ah. Escape. I won't say anything. Badass. We're on our way to India. Ari ari ari! Why'd you jump on the cable car with me? Turned out alright. We got plus one friendship with him anyway, so. By the way, Jojo, are you gonna eat that cherry? I don't wanna be greedy, but it's my favorite fruit. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Thanks! Red, 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 Oh look, Jojo. There are flamingos outside. Give me a break. <laughs> Good grief. Yare yare yare. Yare yare. Yare yare <laughs> We're in Calcutta. India. Shit's hilarious. They replicate this part of the manga very well a way for the game there it is hey give me monkey bang sheesh bang sheesh bang sheesh <laughs> clusterfuck look at this clusterfuck <laughs> i especially love those twerking cars on the left want me to introduce you to a nice girl very young no grannies Let me see if we're still recording. Yep. Do you think that... I, I haven't ever been to, uh... India. But I hear it is crowded like this. Well, this is... Don't forget, this is based on, like, 1990, so... Yeah. Yeah, like, this is wonderful. I... This is what makes it so charming. <laughs> okay, we finally made it. A little too early for lunch. Okay. So, damn, quick question. Who do we, who are we gonna help first? You know, one of our crew members. Uh, shit, I don't remember this. Uh, I have a good memory, but I'm having a hard time. No, just like... which person? Uh, let's our party? try Abdul. Okay. Okay, if we're not gonna die to hand grenades once we step outside that damn hotel. You know what? <laughs> we saved, and we're already down to like half health. So, let's just reload. Let me check the... Blacksmith Forge, Generator... I guess we could use Polnara. No, wait, we could activate all of them. So, uh, Cam. Hey, Tonio! <laughs> we caught him! Fucking Antonio. Check this out, oh, the yeah, electronics from Japan! Japan. No. Uh, um, oh. 
Hello, guys. Hey, Skulls. I will freeze Ray. So good. It's so expensive, though. Where is that bookstore? Yo! Do you want us to change out of these clothes now? Perfect medicine, my ass. Where the hell is the bookstore? I don't remember where it is. I guess we're going to weapon short. Oh wait, no, we can talk to this dude, right? Repair the hearth. Let's do some. Let's burn it, Abdul. Magician thread. Friendship. Friendship point up. I was checking do, something. Do. We need to buy something. Uh, Abdul is fucked. Hopefully we find that bookstore soon, so that we can leave Abdul, you know, do his devices. Oh god. God, I'm getting the chills again. I need to, you know, up the temperature on this electric blanket I'm in. You need a bookstore? Are you the nurse? Are you the blacksmith? Found the bookstore. Books here, come and get them. Ooh, a bookstore. Yeah, I guess I don't mind. Flip, 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 flip. Oh no. The out of whatever is that. Very famous books thing. Okay, we now have a book. I think. We have secret book level one. So you said you actually unsubscribed from Markiplier? Yes. I, I don't unsubscribe from people often. I'm they still subscribed to them. We have. Because it doesn't hurt. You can upload content for like forever, but we have ripple breathing. <laughs> hey, Pornera. Knight oh, and hey, Samurai, huh? Interesting combo. <laughs> can we remove our clothing, please? I like the clothing, but uh, books here. Come and get them. Hmm, a bookstore. They got books in all kinds of languages. Oh, this book. What is it? <laughs> just look, Koji. Hey, Porno Mag, guess I got him in India, too. Wow, nice. Hey, Porno F, I know. I'll win it to you later. <laughs> okay, hey, we need, need to go to the cabaret. Uh, we don't need to do that yet. So oh, let's go get Jotaro then. This is a very big map, by the way, so this is gonna suck. Yes. Let us go all the way across the bridge and get our ass kicked. Oh no. Un Assassins. I hate them so much. Once we get across the bridge cam, we're going to go... Why is Tonio like... Hey, truck, get over here. I have Jotaro. I have Jotaro with me. Come over here so I can kick your ass. Motherfucker.
Go to her stop the truck to start fighting him. Who taught you to drive, moron? Now, Cam, we're technically over here for two reasons. One, to heal, and two, uh... Okay, three reasons. Yep, give me the fruit. Get into the black fruit. Our all of HP is healed, but a black wizard is a stand, and we're mummifying. Get back here, buddy. Please. Oh, for God's sake. He's never... There it is, the black eyed peas. What? Oh, bullshit. That's a, that's a new thing. What, mummy? Oh, black, black Eyed Peas, aren't they like a new band? I guess late 2000s band? Yeah, this is a... This isn't a... Yeah, this is a... You know what I mean. This is a fan game, dude. That's a custom scenario. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to fit the aesthetic to me. Hey! You want... I'm gonna go to... Come on, let's go to a cabaret, man. Have fun! Yeah, I've been to one of these places, didn't we? You haven't noticed? That girl isn't human. Too late! Give me a break, let's make this quick. Yeah, Joey's oh here. It's Joey. Of course it's Joey. Of course, it's just a bunch of fucking doll babes. Under beam. So, Jotaro's with us? Yes. Right. Why'd you ask? I was just- I thought he we was were in our party, so. I thought we were hanging with Palmer after earlier. But... No, no, I switched him out. Uh, I must not have noticed. Uh. Hey, Cam. I'm... What? Speaking of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, how do you feel about Speedwagon? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Christ almighty. Speedwagon's alright. I, I like him as- I like him how he uh, narrates fights. <laughs> That's all he does. Hi! <laughs> okay. We are not going to die. Yeah, they are just uh, crowding around. Yes. Th these are too many ladies. Uh, they're not all ladies. I would like to mention. I know, I'm just saying this is a this is uh this is not an orgy that we want to take part in at this like current time. <laughs> Underbeam. Order, order, rush. Please stop. And grenade. Ah, uh, Joey, get your ass over here so I can kick it. There are so many enemies. Don't dodge, bitch. <laughs> this party just got crowded. Uh, yeah, foot soldiers. Fucking foot soldiers, what? Shit, that's not good. They they were actually doing pretty hard damage. I'm mashing the X button so about the second we're out of battle. Okay. Okay. Motherfucker. We're getting close to Joey though. This is getting stupid, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like it though. It's intense. Well, 
Well, we may no. need to use that soon. We may actually need to use a fucking hand grenade one of these days. <laughs> we we just used two of them. Christ, they have grenades too? Yeah, doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, I guess, I mean... Oh, I come on, I'm... Fighting Joey, damn it! Let me fight him! He's right. Stop that. Did you just use Sunlight Yellow Overdrive? Yes, and it just murdered us. We're fucked. Kills, uh... Cardiac Massage. Kills, uh... Cardiac Massage. How are we alive? Yeah, we are barely There we go. This. Venom cannon, please work. <laughs> Did he shank himself? <laughs> Star finger him. Oh, come on. I hate Quicksilver not being accurate. We got a bazooka launcher. What? <laughs> Fucker fucker. And we are back over here. Holy hell. That was a lot of, uh, dolls. Yeah, and Dimension Vat, our HP is not healed. So, uh, we're having Jotaro, um, go to the bookstore. About boats. Ocean man, take me by the hand, take me by the stand. If you get the joke cam, uh, Jotaro is into the ocean, like, a lot. I, I didn't quite ca catch that, so. from the show, but... I know he doesn't like submarines, apparently. Yeah, no one likes submarines. Like, submarines. Fuck Sub you, I like submarines! Cam. So you want to be on the like... JoJo's Bizarre Adventure submarine? Okay, to be fair, yeah, it's an extreme case, but I, I like submarines, okay? It's like one of my favorite, like, things, like, in existence. I love submarines. I wish I had my own submarine. I, like, that's like one of my dreams, like, ever since I was a kid. I just want, like, a submarine. I'm doing it. There we go. Right. Like, ah. like what I mean, like what I mean is that like uh, a submarine that broken. Okay, we need scrap metal. I forgot about that. So uh, we're going across <laughs> the bridge again to get some scrap metal. Oh, that's a truck. Do I need Joseph at all for this? Area. We do not need Joseph at all. Thunder Beam. By the way, Cam, the max level was 50, so... We're almost there. By the way, let's read the sign. You want to read it? Uh... uh sure. Danger. Please don't lean over the side of a bridge. What? It's a zombie!
Yeah, there's sure a lot of fucking random zombies in India, apparently. Zombie! Why are there zombies? I, I used cardiac massage by mistake. Oops. Actually, that is a weird thing. I actually wonder why Zero ha I mean... Zero. Speedwagon! Oh, uh, but you're standing in broad daylight. You're not a zombie at all. I'm saved! I'm the interfering speed wagon. Yes. And look who's in our party now. Fucking speed wagons in our party, are they? Yes. And who's this? This guy would take us back to the surface. Okay. I keep hitting auto. Oops. Well, it worked. Venom Cannon is good. Speed Wagon level 6. Oh. How'd you folks get down here? Well, ever just don't get in the way of my fish. There's a ferry passing by here any minute now. While we're here, we might as well buy the scrap that we need. Scrap was down here. I hate you. Are you glad that we have speed wagon on our side now? Yeah. We got gunpowder. It's, it's one, even though I will admit speed wagon is pretty useless. Like. The one time Speedwagon pissed me off was during that time where, uh, like, uh, what was his name? Fucking guy with the white jacket, uh, top hat from the first one. Zippelli. Always gets me. Zippelli? Yes. Yeah, like, during the scene where he died, like, fucking Speedwagon was just standing on the sidelines, not doing shit. Damn it, yeah. we're at the hotel, but we cannot enter because I'm an idiot. Under I mean, I get that he was just a dude, you know, and if he did anything, he probably would have died too, but... He really did not do anything throughout that entire sequence. <laughs> well, I mean, you're up against a zombie, what could he do? I mean, earlier he got punched in the gut by... By Zeppeli, so... My boy, throw Hyman speed wagon. We're in 1989. Gojo, this is not canon, by the way, so don't worry. Yeah, I know. Bye, disguised as speed wagon. My theory is correct, that you wouldn't be the real Stroheim, but an animated corpse that could walk and talk. In other words, a living snapshot of the Stroheim from years past. I'm not Stroheim? Oh well. That means I did die in Stalingrad. Well, yes, my theory is true. Only if... I see. I understand now. In that case, I really did sacrifice myself for the fatherland. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we can have Stroheim on our side? In certain, certain conditions. There are conditions that will lead to that. I love that this game managed to get Stroheim. I mean, uh, like, I understand, like... <laughs> It's not everyone's Caesar, favorite. Caesar, is it possible? Are yeah. you out there somewhere? I just think that that's a funny idea to have him here. Actually, it makes me wonder what other characters from the older games might show up if we're having all this time shit going on. I'm gonna say this right now. Lisa Lisa. Oh my god, Lisa Lisa shows up? Uh, only if you beat the game three times. Whoa. That's, uh, that's bizarre. That is a good character to have as that secret, like, super secret character, uh, though. Also, 
is that Pewee appears if you beat the game three times. Oh my god, I love Zapelli. And so do those two dot guys that die training, um, you know. Oh, those two, yeah. I, I can't remember their names. No one yeah, remembers remember. their names, come on. They're the two guys that died training Joseph, even though they were all very upset about that. <laughs> Freeze right. What about the guy that, uh... Get his name. The blonde guy who died in part two, uh, who had the bandana, uh, and like one of the uh, great great grandchildren of like Zapelli or something. There was no great great grandchildren. There were only three Zapellis in the first universe of JoJo. Yeah, I mean like you know the Zapelli guy that was friends with Joseph. You mean Caesar? Caesar, that's it. Yeah, we just said that. Is he out there? Fucking hell. Oh my god, it'd be so weird if Caesar was in this game. By the way, whose ending do you want to get? We have like six possible outcomes if we do it on friendship, or we could do the betrayal ending. No, we shouldn't betray them, man. That's not cool. Betraying people is not cool. Okay, but we can't get the true ending. True ending, you have to beat the game three times. I just, I don't want to betray anybody, you know? I don't want to betray you. Yeah, we don't need to be in Calcutta anymore. We'll end up, we'll end with, you know, the hanged man, okay? Because I'm getting tired and I want to... Yeah. Hey, Cam, well, let's I go to the, the hangman plotline is a good one to do. Let's go poop. Let's go take oh, a yeah, it's the fucking pig in the toilet. Yeah. Mm. Suitable. As if, but, but the toilet. Look at the toilet. It's a pig. Look in the toilet, there's a pig in there! Oh, that kind of toilet is uncommon even in India. There was an error in the plans, they made the bowl too shallow so pigs could poke their head through. The bowl isn't the problem here! Wait, then do these pigs eat? Why do you think I gave you the stick? Here, let me show you. Oink. You hit it with the round end. Give it a whack, you can use the toilet once it's gone. I feel bad for that pig. You know, porn rep has no luck with toilets. Yeah. From the episodes I've seen, like, where he has any involvement with toilets. He yeah, has to he lick has no it clean with... and then this. I love how much Joseph gave him shit for that. Oh, you're gonna love the retribution that Joseph gets in Egypt, then. <laughs> Ooh. Has to be a stand, but where's the user? Who is he? It's too crowded to tell. Whatever, blah blah blah. Okay. So, Cam, we're gonna be presented an option. Are we gonna go with Poln Ref or are we gonna stay with the group? This is one of the hardest decisions I was thinking about before doing this. It's like, like, it's hard. Is there an option for us to go with Abdul? What do you mean by like, that? Go with Abdul and follow Polnareff. If we go with Polnareff, Abdul doesn't go. Then in that case, we should stay with the group. Because you, uh, know, what, you, know, you know what would happen to us if we go with him, right? I imagine that if we go with Polnareff, we'll piss him off and we'll end up fighting him. No, we get shot in the head, Cam. Yeah, that too. That's also what I was thinking. Is that like basically if we go with Polnareff, we take shit's Abdul's not... place. Yeah, we're going to take Abdul's place, and that's not going to be good. 
because we gonna... pretty much are in a hospital bed. Then we have to go through an open map world and go have to fight whole horse and get a battleship. We have to get a sub. We have to buy the submarine. Oh right? yeah, we have to buy the submarine. Yeah. Fuck that. I, fuck that. <laughs> and you know what's even worse? It's in a mansion with the Rolling Stone. Like every room has a Rolling Stone in it. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's an extremely complicated. You know what? I'm I'm almost thinking we should do it. I hate you. But at the same time, I'm like, no, I'm sure there's more interesting things we can do. We could get the whole horse ending, but literally all that is, is just whole horse shooting D on the final battle. Fuck, you, you had to spoil it, but... It doesn't even, he doesn't pop up. He, it's during the fight scenes. It literally does only happen, it's like a, a battle event, like, oh, just a bullet pops out. That's awesome. Remain with the group. This is so much easier. Uh. Yeah, I agree. I say remain with the fucking group, because we don't want to fuck with this particular scene. And get our ass kicked later, because honestly, we have to fight like four tanks to beat the open world section, and they take a lot of damage. Yeah. Like, the open world section sucks. Hello, whole this horse. Is, this is not good. You know, we could have killed you at any time, whole horse. We met you in like four different towns. Whole horse is such a motherfucker. Man. I mean, if we went down the mansion path, he. I mean, I think I've, I've said that about half the villains we've come across. They're all I dicks. Said... Yeah, they're all just such fucking dicks. It's insane. How dickish so many of these people are. Oh yeah, I beat Tempest Trials in uh, Final uh, eh, Fire Emblem. Oh, that's good. I heard those are actually extremely difficult. It involve like ball busting. Yeah, I got all the orbs. You got all the orbs? Yep. You're I just need to wait till tomorrow. As, you're free to spend them as however you want. Yep. I just need to wait until tomorrow where I get the bonus orbs. Then I could go get one last summon chance to get Legendary Ike. And Abdul's dead if they didn't give him a sprite. Also, you know what Centerfold's actual name is. J. Gale. Because Crunchyroll I, I, fucks up subs. That's weird. I didn't. I, I didn't imagine that would actually be a name change. Yeah, Jay Gale and his mother. You know how they call her like Inyaba. Yeah. It's just Inyaba Hag. I just thought that like Centerfold was like named after the song Centerfold. It is. They just made it so that it's a bit harder to copyright. I think that's actually one of the few name changes where I'm like, that's better. You know? Poor horse, you are fucked. We're going to die. By the way, I want you to imagine how are we gonna beat, uh, in, like, J Gale in RPG format? Oh, that's gonna be hard, because I think we'd have to do it just like the show where we throw the coin. Yep. That's one way. Or you could actually kill him. If you kill him, I think you get a Medal of Honor. That actually would be pretty badass. But it's not really worth it. It's just easier just to kill him the normal way. However, it does affect our friendship points. Uh, which character do you want to do the plan? Bone Refs or Kakyoin? I recommend Kakyoin since we didn't upgrade his friendship points in this map. But, you know. Yeah. 
He attacked Ponoref. This is gonna take forever, bro. This cutscene is so long. Yeah. I mean, I feel like at this rate, you could just be watching the show. <laughs> oh, no, you couldn't watch the show because this is like 5% faster. Yeah, I guess you're right. This is this is actually much faster, but at the same time... It's like, also less epic. Yeah. I actually do highly recommend watching this show. I mean, look, well, we're not really... getting any image of inside the car. Yeah. You wouldn't even be able to tell that it's Kakui and Polnareff just by looking at it. We have dialogue. I mean, we do have the dialogue, but... And the dialogue is doing a great job covering it, though. Yeah, covering, like, a third of the screen. I imagine that if there was actually, like, a Game Boy game based off of this manga, like, with this kind of art style and everything, they would not be this detailed with the dialogue. Honestly, if there's a Game Boy Color or Game Boy game, it would probably have, like, maybe 5% of the words and 100% less translation, like, accuracy. Yeah. Like, and they, pro like, they probably would have just had to summarize, like, plot lines, like, you know, like, Polnareff went after Centerfold, who is a bad guy. It's <laughs> something, I don't know. You need to watch the entire horse. If Polnareff is apparently accusing Whole Horse of being a bad guy because he's smoking a cigarette. How much is Dio paying you to smoke? Well, Dio doesn't work like that. I like how he, like, ignores the fact that Jotaro also smokes. Yeah. Hello, kid. Time to kill you. And there's a mosquito around me. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, I hate that, man. Bugs suck. Like, I could hear it from my noise-canceling headphones. Graham, kid. For those of you who don't know for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, this stand goes through reflective surfaces. And your eyes are technically reflective, so... Let's throw some dust into the eyeball. Yep. Uh... When do we get to the part where we fight him? Jesus, this is lasting forever. I know. <laughs> it lasts as long as the end. I get it. It's the reflective guy. It's gonna be complicated. It's a complicated fight. There, we saved. Here. That bastard. And then we go here. Come on, fake. Okay, you don't have to have, like, this many pants. Especially when I can't skip through it. I really wish that we had King Crimson right now. Ugh. They're even uglier than I remember. I hate J. Gale, he's an asshole. Yeah, J. Gale is like, disgusting. One, he raped, uh, Hornref's sister, murdered her. I'm yeah. glad that he dies. Yeah, he's just an evil motherfucker, him. The beggars. Hornref, these guys are just innocent bystanders. You can't let them get injured. Error conditions. The beggars are injured. All party members are KO'd. Accuring learned plan. Uh. Oh, we could either kill J. Gale, or. You know what? I feel like killing J. Gale and not doing the plan. Motherfuckers, get out of my way.
Emerald, you know, this is like the one time where Hyperfant Green is useful. Because <laughs> he's a long range attacker. <laughs> True. And Jay Gill is hiding like a coward he is. Hey Cam, I'm. Quick question How do you think the lovers are? I'm trying to think about the lovers. The lovers is Steely Dan. Oh, that's right, fucking Steely Dan. Well, I imagine that. I mean, I imagine you'd actually play a section where you go inside of him. Yep. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> you went right for me, but I made a wall out of those beggars. By the way, we killed him with a rock. Or, how do I say this? Why bother fighting a stand made of light when the user is right within my range? I should have known not to take my emeralds flash lightly. I won't be the one inflicted the killing blow, however. That is his job. Merci, Gakyoin. I'll take it from here. Your cries are music to my ears. J. Gale! I'm gonna turn you into a fucking pincushion. You know how long I've waited for this? God damn. <laughs> Stab full of holes. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh no! The ending! It feels- oh, Man. It's, Cam, it feels a lot better to murder, like, the human and not the stand. You're talking about committing homicide in JoJo. Full horse. The entire horse. He can't hear you. He's being tortured in hell. I don't remember that being a line. Maybe they changed it. Uh, yeah. His body's about four or five miles away if you want to see for yourself. How about it? Alright, don't mind if I do. Whole horse had it works best with a group. Nice. Mr. Joestar. We finished burying Abdul in a shallow grave. Jesus. We would still be seeing the scene if we had picked it. Like if we had been the one who got shot, but the thing is. We wouldn't be here, of course. That fucking horse! And he gets on! <laughs> Sorry, just the fucking little horse! <laughs> Sorry, There's Cam, something... my throat's a little horse. Uh, the entirety of JoJo, but it's a Game Boy game. Is that seriously what this is now? Yeah, it's kind of what it is. I hate this woman. Uh, what was she called again? High Priestess. Not High Priestess, Empress. Empress, that was it. Yeah, she is kind- like, she is like, oof. She's a jerk. And she almost kills Joseph, who is like, my favorite character. Oh, no! <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh my god! Uh, what is your name, miss? Nena. Uh. God damn, Polner. <laughs> when he- as soon as he started flirting with her, I knew. I just knew, like, no, she- she's just- she's bad news. <laughs> you know. Indeed, you your cramps, you're not looking too good. I think my bug bite might have gotten infected. It's pretty swollen. <laughs> Looks like a face. Blech. Excuse me? Okay then. Uh, I don't remember this area, but uh, we're ending this because we just killed. Yeah, and I imagine this next sequence is going to be very complicated depending on It's a chase on what scene. Do. Yeah, it's going to be a chase, but it's going to be really complicated depending on what we do and how we handle it. We have to run from the cops. 
the cops actually appear in this. <laughs> no, don't, okay, don't spoil, don't spoil. I wanna, I wanna actually be surprised when we get to it. It's gonna be nuts. I like how this is going to be like your introduction to the anime, and this is probably gonna be faster than you're watching it. We're gonna yeah. get to Egypt, and you're like, okay, I haven't seen it. Okay, you spoiled it for me. Wow, thanks. I hope that's not the case. I mean, I do like the occasional differences in what we do. It's just, it's really fucking entertaining. I love that we just, in that last fight, we just, sh like, we just ignored the beggars and just killed them with Emerald Splash. <laughs> You're standing right there. Why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> Where am I? Hey, it's the dog. Oh, okay, we're in Egypt. Uh... Wrong file. Uh, I actually want to show you something. Uh, assuming that I remember where it is. Hello, mounted soldier. It's weird seeing you without, uh... There it is. <laughs> the samurai outfit now. Ow. Oh, hey, it's heaven. Ah, uh, hell. Either or. It's a ghost. Oh yeah, I need the axe. Where is it? It's somewhere here. There it is. If I kill you, it's mine. <gasps> cars! The ultimate being cars. He constantly recovers health. And he has a lot of one-hit KO attacks. I'd like to mention I've never beaten him. Also, look at all my abilities. Oh my god, it's fucking cars. Wave motion gun. Oh, her platinum stop time. This is the only way to beat him. Stopping time? Yes. That's Let's the cheat skill that you get for beating time. the game. That's the cheat skill you get for beating the game. Also, uh... Where is it? Uh, it's somewhere here. I know I have like 99 of them. Somewhere. Where are they? Where are they? Nuclear warheads. Remember when I told you that we had nuclear warheads? Yeah, uh, and I forgot about it, and I'm I am blown away at the godly fucking battle that is taking place in front of my very eyes. <laughs> Two stand users, one with nuclear warheads, <laughs> and the upper one <laughs> with more nuclear warheads, and then ultimate being cars who somehow came back from space. Or is just in hell. I need some phantom blood, bitches. Phantom blood it heals you like for a hundred percent your health. Oh my god, I want to see you beat cars. I can't. If I beat him, I will probably get like an amazing weapon, but uh. Rifle ammo. Nuclear warhead. I, I would like to mention I've used all 99 nuclear warheads and then started abusing my abilities and I still can't beat him. I could beat normal cars just fine, but ultimate being cars is impossible to beat. Is he actually supposed to be impossible? He's pretty much impossible. Like, you see how much stuff I'm using already. Nuclear warheads. Yeah, I'm seeing the nukes. 
And I'm seeing all the crazy shit you're doing. I'm seeing that he's dealing basically a one hit KO hit every time he hits you. Did I also mentioned he's immune to Hamon as like he should be. Yeah. Why? Oh Fucking god. Nuclear warhead, nuclear warhead. <laughs> Skills. Uh, let's just go straight. To, oh yeah, I have a crap ton of ripple abilities. Like plus and minus ripple, ripple breathing, ripple gale. God, the amount of abilities here is amazing. You could get a lot of them from the cheat from the debug room. You're actually if you beat normal cars or any version of cars, you could go to the debug room. Whoa. If you beat cars. Note, uh, that's a very big if. The wave motion gun kind of, uh, nuclear warheads is the way to go. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. By the way, we used 19 nuclear warheads. Holy hell, how many nukes? Have you like, done a run of this where you've used like, all the nukes? Yes. No, you can buy nukes in this game. Yeah, I know, but like, all of your nukes. Oh, he evolved, we're fucked. Yes, what? I've done all the nukes. Look at his defenses now! Well, oh, okay, um, you want, to, want our object objective to somehow beat cars? Nuclear Horror had one damage. Oh, I see. So he's just invincible now. Yeah. And Jotaro's dead. Phantom blood, please. Oops. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Incapacitated. <laughs> you get the idea, right? Uh, but there's one more thing I need to show you, like, as a warning that we could do in order to beat cars easier. Uh, I'm I just looking up a video of someone doing it. I know, it is possible, it's just I suck. Hey Cam, you know what this room is? Oh, shit. Welcome to the maze. The Rolling maze. Stone maze. There are only Rolling Stones here. Oh, God. Not Rolling Stones. And you know what's at the end of this maze? A chest! That has cars in it. I see. So this is hell. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. The instant incapacitation. This game is so good yet so... That... Like, fuck. It so gets get the bad. Red, so you get the red stone of Aja. If you and, beat him. And you can yeah, mix you it with the sword. It. Like the sword of George and get some kind of ultimate sword. And then you can fight the fucking creator? Yes. Well, you can fight him anyway. He's actually easier than ultimate cars. God damn. And I... Eating cars gets you cars' arm, which allows you to instant kill the creator. Yeah, oh, that's right, you get cars' right arm. Hell? So, 
you could understand why I kind of want to kill cars, because I want that stone. Because, god, I want that stone in real life. Redstone of Aja looks awesome.